Let's get on with the dock spawner. So what I need to do is create a tube, uh, which is two by two. I don't think I've got that. Hi. And I need to take this up to around 30 blocks above this platform here, the level with the ground. Um, so in my inventory. Stone bricks as well, just to help me count them. So, this is level one. Level two. Level three. Level four. Level five. It's going to go quite high up into the sky, this. Um, the reason to go up so high is that uh, you can kill mobs by dropping, well, ordinary mobs, but by dropping them 23 blocks. A few exceptions with that are spiders and witches, um, who can survive up to a fall of about 30, 32, I think it is. What I want to do is take that up another three of those. And then build my dark spawner at the top of that. The idea being that all the mobs will then fall down this tube to the bottom. Um, building it 30 odd high enables me to build things down at this level and either keep the mobs alive or kill them depending on the drop. So that's the idea anyway. So yeah, I'll just go get some ladders and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we need to set that up another two levels like that. Yep, yeah, uh, let's put some ladders up here. Through the magic of fast forward. So there we go, 33 blocks high from the ground here, probably 
34, isn't it? From, from the Cobbleth one on there. So next, we want to build some water channels for this. Uh, we know that water flow is eight blocks, so each of those channels needs to be eight blocks long and two wide, which is convenient for us because we built the uh, tube going down. So that's uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the same on this side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, and we just repeat that pattern all the way around the sides of this. to this last uh, water channel building away from your property be careful because there may be a limit as to how far out you can build uh, so do it in blocks of two yep yeah. that way if a block does fail to place you're not less likely to fall off so that's three four Last one. Right. So uh, okay. I mean, the sun's just coming up, which is good. Right. So the water is going to flow along these channels and into this central drop here. Uh, so what we need to do now is build some spawning pads uh, in the corners between these channels. Now um, you have to make a decision about how high you want these. A, a trough to be into the water channel um, because uh, you can build it too high which prevents the mobs jumping back out again into onto the side uh, but obviously that takes more resources and, um, uh, you have to generate those resources using the cobblestone generator so we make the decision anyway I'm going to fast forward again. have the platforms now and if we now fill in these bits here so that's if you're going up only one high like I am if you want to go too high you need to put another layer on around here okay and we want to fill in a three by three in very edge of the platform, so that's eight blocks, isn't it? Um, that's an eight by eight, and we want to do that again all around the platform. Yeah. thing I forgot to mention was this is where your um, exit is to get down so probably want to block that off last yeah <laughs> Thank you. 
So having completed the spawning pads like this, now what we want to do is build the wall up all the way around the spawning pads and the water channels. Now we just need to go all the way around again and put another layer on top. Yep. And finally, we want to put a roof on this. Um, now you want it too high because you don't want any uh, endermen um, spawning in here. Um, if you make it three high, you might get endermen spawning in here, and they will not go into the water channels. <laughs> If you want to save yourself some stone, um, you can reduce the size of these pads. save yourself a 4x4 four four, 16 blocks in the corner there. Uh, the only thing is you then have to build uh, your wall around it. So, uh, don't forget you need to torch up here until you're ready to you want, don't want mobs spawning up here until you're actually ready for them. The last thing you want to do is come up and find you've got a whole load of mobs sitting up here waiting for you. Right, the last thing we actually want is uh, mobs spawning up here. Uh, so we put some torch light up here. But the only problem is that that won't stop endermen coming up here. And the problem with endermen is they'll end up pinching the blocks. So uh, bear that in mind. Um, I'm just going to close the top off here. And drop back down the ladder. And seal the lid. Um, so we're more or less done. All we need to do now is add the water into the channels in here. Uh, we need to add two buckets into each of these uh, water channels. And the water should flow all the way up to and stop at the um, tube. So I'm 
I'm just going to make a universal water supply up here. So I only have to make two trips with the bucket rather than eight. Uh, so one in that corner. Right, uh, let's start up over here. So you see it travels up to the edge there, and when I put the second bucket of water in, in that channel, that will all the way. make a hatchway here so that if I need to get in again and rather than coming up the middle I'll come in from the roof side and um, that will enable me to get in successfully restricting our exit So I did say you could make these um, these channels too high, which would prevent any mobs that jumped in them jumping back out again. Um, my experience is that there's not a lot of benefit for the amount of cobble that you would use. Yeah. So the last thing we need to do now is remove all the torches and get rid of this universal water supply. that gone. One other thing that you could do is if you want to stop um, spiders spawning, um, you would put down a pattern of half slabs in here um, with a spacing of two between them. Uh, sorry, that's three. Spacing of two, one, two, uh, yeah. Uh, so two in that direction, two. That would stop spiders spawning in here. Um, and but the only issue I find with that is that you want the you want the wool in this game for uh, you, sorry you want the string to turn it into wool. Um, okay. So right, so now I'm just going around the outskirts of the mob spawner, we're removing all the light from in here, as it's called a dark spawner. Uh, it needs to be dark. I'm going to get some cobble ready to uh, plug the hole when I go down through. Okay, looks good up here. Let's take these torches, reuse them. And so that's it. We are done. Place the last pot there. And as soon as we hit the deck, I'm hoping the mobs will start to spawn up there. Um, we haven't got a collection area for them, uh, but that's not really an issue. What I'm going to do is. Uh, so that's it. 
think they spawned in there naturally, so... What we actually want to do is see them falling from the, uh, the top down. There we go. And they're dying straight away. That's not an issue for us, uh, because... What we want to do is build up some collection uh, blocks. So underneath there I've got some hoppers. Yeah. And 33 high, wasn't it, that we built it? 34 if you include the the spawning platforms. Uh, spiders can be an issue. should leave uh, these corner blocks open so you can get to the loot as it drops down until you get to a position where you can um, put some hoppers underneath and direct all the loot into a chest so there we have it a uh, very long episode building this uh, ran out of cobble in the middle um, Well, we got there in the end, a fully working darkroom spawner. In future episodes, I plan to show you how to tune the spawner to include um, adding hoppers, extracting a zombie villager to start an iron golem farm, and maybe uh, sort mobs as well. Please, please leave comments if you've got any questions. I will get back to you and we'll answer them. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to catch the next episode of Nightcraft.us Skyblocks.